Nearly 1,500 people watch my little channel, which I started just as a hobby. Subscribe and be among them too. Stop procrastinating on subscribing. You know you want to. Good day to one and all. This is John. Today we're going to explore a Threes Company episode. In it, we're going to take a look at the intros as well as the outros to the show. The intro shows a woman walking away from the camera when Jack is staring and falls off his bike. There has been rumors that it's either Joyce DeWitt or Suzanne Somers. We're going to explore some evidence I have uncovered that it is Suzanne Somers and I'll point those out to you. And I'll explain why it can't be Joyce DeWitt. But first, many of you probably did not know that there were actually two pilots made for this show. One never surfaced. The other one did, but was never aired. Both pilots had different actors in them. The very first pilot did not have Joyce DeWitt nor Suzanne Somers. Before Suzanne Somers, there was Suzanne Lenier. And before her, there was Suzanne Zenor. And not as Chrissy, but as Samantha. Before Joyce DeWitt, there was Valerie Crichton. And not as Janet, but as Jenny. But by the time the second pilot was actually filmed, they settled on Joyce DeWitt as Janet Wood and Suzanne Linear as Chrissy Snow. Of course, John Ritter had always been Jack Tripper. One might consider the actual pilot to be the first episode entitled Man About the House, which was the very first airing of the very first episode. However, the second pilot that was never aired was called Mother Makes Four. That's the episode that did not have Suzanne Somers, but had Suzanne Linear as Chrissy Snow. So let's get into the first talking point, which is who is that girl walking from the camera when Jack Tripper falls off his bike? Let me show you how I define the evidence that it is in fact Suzanne Summers with a wig. Being a certified personal trainer, there were certain things that I had been accustomed to looking for in the human body. That training made this possible for me to uncover. Now I'm going to use the same arrows in the same position for the next three poses you're about to see. When we take a look at this body frame, we are looking at the arrows to show certain points of interest, almost like a fingerprint. Although in this case, you don't need to be a personal trainer to take notice. But seriously, I've placed these arrows in the main points of interest. This will get you up to speed at what I am looking for, and hopefully you'll come to the same conclusion. Now we're going to take a look at the episode Man About the House, where Suzanne Summers has the same body shape as the girl on the beach walking from the camera. I'd say that fingerprint is a lot closer than Joyce DeWitt's body frame. Now, in this pose, we can see there is quite a difference in Joyce DeWitt's body frame compared to Suzanne Summers. Their height may have a little bit to do with it, but Joyce DeWitt has a smaller waist and hips, and does not have the same body shape as the girl on the beach walking away from the camera. But let's face it, while there's nothing wrong with Joyce DeWitt's or Suzanne Summers' body frame, the point here is to show the difference between the two. Moving over to the next piece of evidence I uncovered, you'll notice that Suzanne Summers wore a bracelet on her right wrist as shown here, as does the girl walking on the beach. It looks exactly like or very close to the exact type of bracelet, both in delicate size and it's on her right wrist. Joyce DeWitt in the second pilot which was actually filmed as we see here, she's wearing a completely different bracelet and it's on her left wrist. However, when the show starts with the first aired pilot episode, 
a man about the house, Joyce DeWitt, is wearing no bracelets whatsoever. Later in other episodes, though, she does wear a bracelet, but it's usually on her left wrist. And most of the promo pictures and filming for the intro and such would be recorded very close to the filming of the very first episode. And what I mean by this is, any jewelry that they would be wearing in and around the same week would most likely be what they were wearing during the promo filming and during the first episode. So it's safe to say that the jewelry they had on at the time of the recording of the intro or outro would be pretty close to the jewelry they'd be wearing in the very first episodes. You could note that Joyce DeWitt in the closing outro is wearing the same blouse that she wore in the first episode. In the first season's outro, You'll see the three throwing breadcrumbs for the seagulls. But if you take a closer look, you'll notice that's not Suzanne Summers. It is Suzanne Lanier, apparently recorded at the time of the unaired second pilot. I often wonder if she's getting residuals or a payment for that. But in looking up certain rules with the guild, because you can't really make out her face, they probably didn't have to pay any residuals. But I'm sure she got paid for the day's work. Well, I hope this concludes the debate on who the girl is walking from the camera in the intro. Hopefully, I've given enough evidence. It's always fun to figure out backstage information, things they don't readily give out. So we have to do our own detective work. Okay, so that's what I have for you. I hope you'll subscribe. I know you people are out there because the YouTube analytics to my small channel shows that I have a lot of people a day watching my videos. If they watch your so video, it would be nice to have you come on board and be a part of the videos I work so long and hard putting together. But hopefully you will click the like button. I mean, hey, it's free, right? And only if you click on the bell will you get notification of future videos I'm putting together from the entertainment realm. Anyway, if you don't, I hope you enjoyed the video. And maybe watch some of the other ones. I have a lot of ideas that I'm scooping out of my past from watching these shows as a kid, catching all this stuff, and thanks to YouTube being out there, Although I'm a late bloomer, I'm able to finally put what I learned as a child out there for you to hopefully enjoy. And until the next one, I'll see you in the next the one. man, and you know how men are. Not lately. <laughs> Look at Jack as a third of the rent, as a watchdog, as a cook. How's he going to be looking at us as his dessert? <laughs>